like I mentioned earlier, yeah, it comprises of multiple of those parallel lines and all that, like those there, and then these other paintings here. So, like, I don't know about Nigeria, but uh, in Zambia, mm -hmm. in most of the tribes, uh, could uh, maybe talk about the Bemba speaking people. Uh, once uh, girls are matured or they become of age, there is this um, custom that we have. They go under certain lessons mm -hmm. just to prepare them so that uh, they become better mothers and mm -hmm. uh, better wives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why you, they teach them about fertility lessons such as in what really happens when like you meet with your husband, mm -hmm. the sexual intercourse and all that. Okay. And how you should conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even for the Bushmen, these are some of the fertility uh, paintings. So the paintings were more to do with their social, economical, and spiritual lifestyle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Are we going in? Yes, we are going in. Okay. On this episode of Across All Borders Going South, join me for a visit to Muela Rock Paintings. Welcome to Muela Rock Paintings. This site here has six different locations you can visit. I'm standing right now on the one other area known as Muela. All of these sites have been named after ancestral spirits of the Bemba people. So for example, Muela means wind or it means snake. While right over here has been named the crow, if we translate the um, Bemba name, which I keep forgetting. And over this side is the white tigress. So it is important to bear in mind that some of these paintings have been exposed to weathering so you will not be able to see them quite clearly but there are caves all over this site and the ones within the caves are a bit more clear and we're hoping to show you that. So come along with me as we explore the Muela rock paintings in the northern part of Zambia, quite close to the city or town Kasama. We we'll locate them using animal sounds and movements mm -hmm. so that they don't chase away the animals. And then for the Pembas, this is one of the spots that were used, so just different top areas to spot on those uh, enemies or strangers mm -hmm. approaching before they go and hide in those caves. Yeah. Okay. And uh, to the defense of uh, both the Pembas and uh, the Bushmen, uh, just the formation of these rocks, uh, you could easily tell that uh, it was well preserved, mm -hmm. where even weather patterns like when it's very cold, we have trees and the vegetation and the rock borders. Uh, it wasn't all that uh, cold. Season and rain season. Again, they also wore animal skins, which were aprons. Yeah. And uh, in most cases, the women would just cover the flat part and then the buttocks would be bare. Sometimes the breasts would be bare. At times, for the sake of decorations, they could even wear um maybe blurs that were cut from animal skins and even python skins and headbands and handbands just like that and then at muela we only have two types of uh, paintings that mm -hmm. we have the first one being red animal tradition that's uh what we call as naturalistic it mm -hmm. comprises of human beings reptiles amphibians and the vegetation the other one is red geometric tradition The rock paintings are located about five kilometers from Kasama town. I combined my visit to this site with a visit to the Krisimba Falls. If you'd like to watch that, click on the link on the right side for that episode. 
In order to get to both sides, I hired a taxi. My taxi cost 350 kwacha for the day and the entrance fee to the Muella Rock Paintings site was 330 kwacha. Let's talk about the site. Eastwards, the site encompasses the outcrops Muankole, Sumina, Mulundu, Fuambo, Changa, Miwambe, and westwards 10 kilometers from the town, the Limumbo outcrops. If you'd like more information on this, check out the UNESCO World Heritage Site. The paintings are associated with the later Stone Age. The interesting thing about the Muela rock painting is that more than a thousand paintings have been recorded in the rock outcrops, making Muela rock paintings national monument one of the densest concentration of rock art sites anywhere in Africa. So if you're definitely visiting Zambia, this is something you want to put on your list and you want to make sure that you have enough time to see as much rock paintings as possible. Reason being that there is a bit of walking involved between the different sites. And if you bring enough time, you are able to see more paintings than if you came with a shorter time frame like I did. Yeah. So this one here mm -hmm. uh, is also another one under the naturalistic. So here is where the hunters used to learn on how to trap the animals. Uh -huh. Yeah. So these sticky things that you are seeing here are all bushmen and hunters. Uh -huh. uh, they used to form the cow horn formation uh -huh. with a selection of these three giants uh -huh. um, who probably wear some medicinal charms uh -huh. like in the waist or penis just to have that bravery as they hunt. And uh, this animal here is a bush pig, that's the front part, and then we have this yellowish painting here. So they basically killed both animals and reptiles as well. So this one could be a water monitor lizard or even a crocodile. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the both were killed in the same manner. And uh, normally they had some poisonous stuff which was not very deadly to uh -huh. animals actually and even the human beings. It was more like a paralyzer for them. Uh -huh. So once they insert or maybe just shoot uh -huh. in the animal or reptile and they need to paralyze the animal and then they will cut the fresh meat. By the way, these didn't practice the making of fire. So they were just eating raw meat raw and meat. raw bed. Yeah. Uh -huh. Again, uh, another uh, trapping method, they could dig ditches or trenches just to to, I mean, uh, once they dig those trenches and then they'll put dried leaves and even not very strong branches of trees just to fake these animals that are being chased and then they'll finally fall in there and then they'll just get what they wanted because part of their hunting were lessons to these hunters who are even brought here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, their type of hunting wasn't uh, randomly uh, maybe picking they could choose, like for instance, today is um, Wednesday. They would say today we are just going to focus on the elephant. Mm -hmm. And they would rain on how they trap elephants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, that was that. And then when the Bembas came, the local tribe, for them, because they even started cooking and, uh, you know, the, the practicing of fire, so some were smoked, the other ones were cooked, the other ones were dried. Yeah, just like that. So that's that there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. That's that. There. And then you may proceed and we follow you. Yes, yes. And then here there is a well, it's feathered. There is a spear and a small shield here. Ah, yeah. yeah. No. It's quite faded. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
Maybe what you can also do is, if there were earlier pictures, because I can imagine that the earlier photographs might be stronger. Yeah. If there are earlier photographs of the in paintings that you might want to like have an installed thing next to it with you know the strong image the way it was before mm -hmm. because then okay we understand it's natural that they're painting uh, but we can still see what it used to look like Mm -hmm. Yeah, so even for the Bushmen, these are some of the fertility uh, paintings that we have here. Mm -hmm. And this is where uh, the initiation ceremony used to happen for the mm -hmm. Bushmen, for the Bush women, yeah. The girls. Yeah. So the mud pros of dots, these that you have seen, were lessons and teachings to the girls. They even performed the Python dance, mm -hmm. which was a fertility light lesson. And then um, this same painting here. Mm -hmm. Out of uh, the, the same mud photos of dots mm -hmm. was a painting of a woman mm -hmm. who's naked, obviously. And then uh, we have these paintings here. There's this one here, another one there, another mm -hmm. one there. Mm -hmm. So this lizard here is uh, one of the fertility uh, reptiles that is used even for the bembers. Yeah, so they use the lizard and then there's a tortoise or tortoise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this lizard here portrays the role of a penis of a man, mm -hmm. husband in this case. And then this other painting here is a vagina, mm -hmm. private parts uh, of uh, the, the woman. So even the same um, um, sexual, uh, in what's his uh, duties and everything that used to happen was taught to these girls of what will be happening as they get married to those husbands. And then this same two, the lizard and tortoise, mm -hmm. were more used like characteristics for this same uh, um, ceremony. Mm -hmm. The lizard lays a lot of eggs and even the tortoise. So okay. fertility lessons were derived from this. They told these young girls that they should be as fertile as these two. Okay. Yeah, because they needed a lot of number of them because when it comes to collecting wild fruits. So guys, I just went through the vagina. How how exciting is that? So I'm going to get out of the vagina and hope not to break a leg. So um literally climbing through the vijiji as they call it of the traditional Zambian ritual site. Yay. <laughs> Tumbled out literally. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> According to my tour guide, as part of the becoming a man or fertility ritual, the male participants, I believe, go through this cave that has the vagina form. One thing I found interesting is that when my tour guide started to explain this, I believe he might have anticipated a certain reaction from me. And when he didn't get it, he got uncomfortable because I held his gaze and I even asked questions, which was very funny. But I just thought I'll throw that in.
Guys, the scenery is absolutely beautiful. I've heard it's even much nicer when the grass is green, but otherwise I still find it fantastic with the brown grass and the beautiful rock formation behind us. We're going to see a bit more rock paintings, so do come along as we try to find some more rock paintings at Moella. For hunting, because animals cannot easily learn off because it is muddy. Yeah. Okay. So that's it for my visit to the Moella rock paintings. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Lisa 81.